Tis the season to slice and dice. Well, some grass that is. But today we're going to do it with the brand new 2020 Cub Cadet 42 inch Intelli Power Mower. This is a brand new technology to Cub Cadet and wait until you see what this thing can do. We're going to use and abuse, we're going to slice and dice, and we're even going to drag race this in the video. Now, before we start looking at this, I want to let you know that I've had a Cub Cadet for about seven years. This thing has been used and abused, literally. My backyard is bumpy, it's hilly, and it just keeps on going. So I've never had an issue other than battery changes with this mower, but I wanted an upgrade. This is Cub Cadet's brand new technology, just started in 2020, called IntelliPower. On every previous version of the Cub Cadet, if you started to get into wet, heavy grass, you would notice that your mower would bog down, especially if you were going too quickly. But there's basically a smart computer chip on this, which I'll show you here in a bit, that will readjust those blades, send more power to them to get the job done. The Cub Cadet mower, 547 cc's. The motor's actually a bit smaller than the previous model that I showed you, but trust me, it is more powerful, more efficient. And that's because of this right here. I'll show you here in a bit, when you start getting into that heavy, nasty stuff, you will hear those blades picking up power. And literally, the first time I heard and felt it do it, I said to myself, That's what not like. You got that reinforced hood, able to bring more air down into the motor. But I'll tell you what, let's go over some of the features here. What I really like about this is that the smaller mowers, the 42 inch, used to have that shifter on the back or on the side of the mowers. Not this, the hydrostatic drive, you got the forward and reverse even on the 42 inch. You do get the cup holder and you got another holder over here. The only thing that I wish I would have kept on this was the little handlebar that I use when I'm going around bends. Now these two levers, very important. The one closest to the edge, that is your blade engagement. The one closest to the seat is the deck height. The deck height, you got 12 positions. You can go from one to four inches. I think it works great. And if you're cutting really high grass with this, well, you can adjust that deck up higher where some of the older models you weren't really able to do. Now let's take a look at the seat real quick. You wouldn't think it's that important, but trust me, it is because, well, you sit down on this. A lot of nice improvements on this. Very easy to slide out and in. If you're short, if you're tall, it doesn't matter. You will fit nicely. I am six foot and I have no issue with not having enough leg room. And as far as it goes with the material and the backrest, well, the backrest sits up higher. You got that opening, so if you're sweating and all nasty, well, you get a little bit more air to your back. They also reinforce the springs, which is probably a good thing because I put on a lot of weight during the winter. But what I really like is the material of the seat itself. They used to use a cloth on theirs, and when it rained a little bit or got wet, it took a long time to dry, where this here, you just blow it right off. You don't have to worry about it. It's almost like a soft rubber or maybe even like a harder foam. Now, because you do not have that lever up on top, you do have your neutral right here. You just pull it out. If you pull it out, you can push this thing real nice and easy like so. However, make sure that you push that back in before you get to start it, or it will not start. I learned that the hard way. But with all that said, everything on this is basically the same as your older models. You got your brake right there. You got your gas. It's outside of the hood, not inside like some of the older models. You do have that visible fill line right there. So that's real nice like. You also have your emergency brake right here. So if you're on a hill, you can push in your brake, push that down. A lot of other people don't realize this. But if you shut your blades off, you push in your brake like this, and then push down on that emergency brake, you can get off of your tractor without it shutting off. The steering wheel sits up a little bit higher, but it is a little bit smaller than my other model. I like it. I think it's comfortable. I wish there was a little bit more grip on there. There is some texture, but if your hands are wet, you might notice a little bit of slippage. That said, it is way easier to turn than my other model. The turn radius on this mower is 16 inches. The one thing you know about Cub Cadet is that you can turn on a dime with these things. The mower deck 13 gauge stamp still. My previous mower had the wheels on the back, not just the front. That helps stabilize the deck. This only has the front wheels because it's not as much as a floating deck as the other one. The other one was just sort of all over the place. This right here, it is just stays in one position where you're cutting, but you do have those wheels to help level you out a little bit. Now you do have the two blades under the deck here. What I love about the Cup Cadets, and I'll show you here in a video, it takes that grass and just shoots it so far out away from the mower. It's just awesome. But let me show you what this thing sounds like when we start it up. That's your IntelliPower throttle knob. How fast you want to go, how slow you want to go. Me personally, I just crank it all the way up. But now it is time to use and abuse, slice and dice 
Purposely, I have not been cutting my grass, driving my neighbors crazy just so I could do it for this video. Look at it. It's nasty. It's high. It's wet. It's soggy. Will the Cub Cadet and Telepower take care of business? And will it be victorious in the drag race that we're going to put it in? Well, we shall see. But first, let's get to the slice and the dice and start her up. All right, so again, right here, you got the hydrostatic drive. You can go in reverse or forward. You do not need to use a reverse or forward neutral lever like the older models had. It's really nice that they included this on the smaller 42-inch cuts. There's your brake right there. And by the way, super easy to start. You turn that key and boom, it is on. All right, let's go without the blade engagement on. What we'll do is we'll turn up the uh, telepower here, the throttle. Woo, baby! Thing got some juice, man. I'll tell you what, definitely faster than my older model. It's about seven years old, that older model, but we're going to turn these blades on here. We're going to start cutting. All right, again, here's how you adjust the Intelli power. All right, you can set your depth again right here. I would keep this at a three or maybe just above three. I went way too low right here. Um, so, yeah, keep it around a three or you're going to scalp your yard. All right, blade engagement on. Look at this freaking airflow coming out of the side here. It just takes those clippings and just blows them. That's what I love about the Cup Cadet mowers. All right, time for the choppy choppy. This is some really, really thick grass right here, and it is wet or moist. This mower is extremely easy to cut with, and it is quick. What I'm noticing is, as soon as I start getting to that really heavy, wet, nasty stuff, you can hear that motor picking up on that speed, sending it to the blades, and just doing an excellent job keeping pace with the speed that I'm going at. Now, this mower here is meant for an acre and a half and under. So if you have anything more, you're gonna wanna go with a larger mower. But what's nice about this, you can get into those narrow cuts, but still having a nice swath, that 42 inch swath, and, and to be able to cut that grass. So check this out right here. Is it just me or is every one of my pine trees dead? Hmm. Now this is the lowest part of the yard. It is always wet and muddy and nasty, and that is no different than right now. This tractor just went through the nastiness, no issue at all. So far, really, really impressed with the handling on this. So much so. I mean, the speed, the power. I, I really want to see what this thing can do. Now, I have a friend that is just, uh, he's a real pain in the butt. You know, he's just always parking on my grass. And I just said, you know what, let's race him. Let's finally put this thing to bed and get it over and done with. And I recorded the whole thing. Well, it, just, this is what happened. Well, 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 if it isn't my old friend Dom, and he's parking on my grass again. Well, I think it's time to show him what's up. Me and you, Dom, Cub Cadet versus your Charger. Let's get it on. All right, TRZ. I used to drag here back in high school. That railroad crossing up there is exactly a quarter mile away from here. On green, I'm going for it. All right, just stop. You know you talk too much. See you later, TRZ. It's really messed up. Quit parking on my grass. Alright, so I lost that one, but you can do up to 5.5 miles per hour forward and 3.1 miles per hour in reverse. But don't worry, his day will come. But here's a different angle for you, letting you see how it blows that grass clipping out the side. Whee! But check out the turn radius on this thing. Insanity! It's really cool. Now you're probably asking, why do you need such an intense turn radius? Well, let me show you here. 
So check this out. If you have a lot of bends or turns or if you have some landscaping out in the front like I do here, you don't even need to get your push mower to get up in there. Crazy! I mean, that is freaking awesome. All right, let me show you one safety feature here. If you have kids, like I do, running around the yard and you got to throw it in reverse, before you can throw it in reverse with your blades on, you have to push that button and then you flip your key to neutral and push it again while that mower is running. That's the only way you can go in reverse with your blades on. To disengage, all you would have to do is turn that key again and then flip it back and it'll shut that feature down. When the red light turns on, that's telling you that you are now able to mow in reverse. You also have your hours ran or used meter right here up on the front. But at the end of the day, what do I think? Now, again, check this out. I mean, this tractor and all the Cub Cadets I've used have so much power. I mean, just look how it takes that grass and just blows it away. That is unbelievable. Now, let me show you one more thing, and then I'll talk to you about my final thoughts. I mentioned we went through some really nasty, muddy, high grass. Well, they give you this little attachment right here. You throw it on this mill right here on your mower deck. And all you got to do is hook up your hose right to that. So screw it on your hose and attach it to your deck. Super simple to do. All you got to do is turn on your water now and then engage your mower blades. Now you can see all that nasty, clunky, muddy grass underneath there. Instead of it getting it all balled up and nasty and just cucky underneath that deck, it just takes it and blows it all out. So run that for about five minutes and it will be completely clean from underneath. Just look at it. So nasty. That's a lot of airflow coming out of that thing. So now I got all that nasty muddy grass up from underneath my deck and distributed it nicely on my wife's car. Now the ride on this, pretty smooth, a little bumpy, but it's a riding mower, so it is what it is. It does seem to be a little bit louder than the previous model that I owned, but that being said, again, it's well, a riding mower. The control of this mower is superb. So easy to make those tight turns. The steering wheel on here, it almost feels like you got power steering on it. It is excellent. Way better than even the older model that I had. The build quality is there. The IntelliPower, again, you turn it up. That's where I leave mine. I just crank it and it will cut through just about anything. I also like that you can raise those blades up higher than the previous models. That was one of my big issues with the older style. As far as it goes with the cut, takes that grass clipping and just blows it away. You don't end up with those big chunks of clumps in your yard. Everything was even, everything was smooth. And my favorite part, when you hear those blades revving up, when you hear that motor revving up saying, I need more power to cut that nasty stuff down, I know I'm able to get it done. So at the end of the day, this thing is awesome. Definitely check this out. If you're in the market for a new mower, these are brand new for 2020. They just did an excellent job. Now, I will say one more thing. This was delivered by a dealer. You can buy them straight off the Cub Cadet site where they're having $100 off, or you can get it at the Home Depot. I'll leave a link in the description for both of them. They'll deliver it right to the door. There's no assembly. There's nothing that you need to do. Just turn key and ready to cut. And then hopefully next time, we'll beat Dom and his stupid charger. So there you go, the finished product. It was sliced, it was diced, and it came out amazing. Really, really good job on these mowers. I'm very happy with it. Now, I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Do you have a Cub Cadet? Do you like it? What do you think about this one here? Are you thinking about getting it? I'm curious. I love hearing your feedback. If this video has helped you in any single certain way, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash that like button. And also, don't forget to get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other cool tool reviews. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.